Hello and welcome to another episode of Read Topology Masters. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Read Topology for simple, basic things. As always, I'd like to thank Autodesk for sponsoring this series of videos and helping me produce more great content for you guys. So, for example, let's start with a sphere. And I'm just going to make sure I'm on view and center this. All right, let's apply Turbo Smooth and then add a poly right on top. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is let's say use cut, but I'm gonna activate the split option. What this will do is actually split it off to a separate element. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just, you know, let's say make a, make a random design here, something nice and angular like this. Make sure that you end on the first vertex and then right click to exit out of cut mode. You can now go into element and it's right here, we can press Control i and delete. So in this situation, let's say we have some sort of a quick sculpt we did, or maybe we went into freeform and we used, for example, the shift, and we can quickly do some sort of like basic sculpting in 3ds Max to get our initial shapes, right? And then we could build something on top of that. So that's, let's say that's what we've done here. So we're going to delete that. All right, so here we have our mesh, as you can see, it's it's workable but we've got some messiness happening here we've got some we got the usual suspects we got n-gons and triangles but it's not too bad right so let's apply a new apply modifier and let's you know let's do some more once again let's use split and so i'm just going to you know, do some kind of little bit of a curve right here All right, there we go. Once again, we go into element and this time I'm just going to shrink it a little bit here. I'm just going to shrink it like that. Actually, let's use a little bit of inset or like to use bevel with just using outline. It pretty much gives the same result as inset and then I can delete this. So kind of getting a small little seam right here. So sometimes we just need to select the vertex here, base constraints and just move it a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, guys, at this point, the topology starts seriously breaking and it gets really messy. At this point, Turbo Smooth pretty much goes out the window. And, you know, traditionally, I have to spend a lot of time maybe cutting here. And, you know, it would take you a really long time to fix all this. You know, it definitely is possible, guys. You can see we've already got quads here, but pretty much it would take a lot more time to clean all this up. So that would really slow down the design process, but it once you're done with designing and you want to get this into a film, for example, or you want to you know, sell this and you want to give your clients good topology, that will take a lot of time to clean up. But now, Read Topology is here to help us with these smaller, more basic things. So what do I mean by smaller, more basic? Well, guys, a lot of times when a new tool comes out, you have to remember, it doesn't just affect the big things, it affects the small things as well. So what do I mean by big things? Well, when Read Topology first came out, you know, the big thing was like, all right, you know, we, we got this and then we got this, right? And then we wanna, we wanna boolean it away. And as you can see, you know, this is the big thing. This is of course the big thing that got people really excited about retopology is guys, we can now simply click on a single button here and just compute this and it's like, bam, it's ready to go. And I'm just gonna do another retopology one. Let's do 500. And it's like, bam, within a few seconds, guys, we now have this amazing topology result. So this is this is the big picture. This is the big result that got most people excited is that, guys, we can now do these amazing Booleans and quickly retopologize. But a lot of times, guys, what's great about the retopology modifier is that it's a tool which affects all areas of modeling, polygonal modeling. And 3ds Max, guys, it's not just useful for this right here. It's useful for things that you may not even thought about, like just basic model like this, because now all we need to do is apply read topology and let's give this like a hundred, for example, and let's compute this and we are now ready to go. Obviously guys, this is a little bit too basic, but even this is actually quite workable, guys. We can just, we can just select this and I'm gonna use the Basachi script, which allows me to align the pivot, create a working pivot from this, right? So now all I need to do is just kind of move this here a little bit. And as you can see, it actually conforms quite well. So just a little bit of that. 
and let's do it right here as well and you know just a little just a little bit of this guys and as you can see things match up quite well so now guys as you can see it's much easier to model now everything is nice and clean quads and we can very easily continue modeling this So for example, with this, all I can do, all I need to do is just select this, double click right here, and let's say detach, all right? Actually, I need to detach the outer part as well. So I'm gonna select this, and I'm going to, let's say, deselect that, all right? And I'm going to just detach this, all right? I can select this. I'll just give this a different object color and I can just double click right here. Deselect this bridge. And as you can see guys, I now have a separate piece right here. All I need to do, and let me just detach this as well. All I need to do is to deselect these edges and bridge. Now, as you can see guys, nice clean modeling right here. I'm going to quickly preset this. Let's say I want this to be smooth. I'm going to deselect this. Create set one, open subdiv, one or two levels, depending on what you want. Smooth, add a poly. And as you can see, guys, we are now ready to add more nice, clean detail here. And here's a nice technique for evening things out, guys. What I can simply do is make a cut, let's say across right here. You select these polygons. As you can see, it's now nice and even here. And I can now screw for example. Go back to edge level. Well, I've got these edges because I should have deselect them first, but what I can do is simply double click right here and remove that. And of course, there's a little bit of cleanup, but we're now able to even things out. You can spend a little bit more time getting rid of these triangles. Actually, remember in this situation, triangles aren't too bad.
Alright guys, as you can see, we can get really cool modeling results very quickly, very easily using Retopology. Thank you for watching and take care.